Hello, my name is Emily Kavik and I'm the founder of FedUp. Over the course of the past six years or so, I've grappled mightily uh, in the throes of anorexia and I don't want to impose it upon other people. So as to forge a sense of community is a very potent instrument that we can wield in order to dispel the isolation which is so often concomitant with eating disorders. You know, many people conjecture at what the brunt of an eating disorder is. Is it the prospect of eating? Is it actually the reservation or resignation rather from eating, the starvation? Or even within mental health at large, where does the pain come about? And at least within my own experience, it's been the dearth of communication with other people, the paucity of somebody else, somebody with whom to commiserate. So in order to ameliorate that, I seek to help others connect and indeed perhaps to connect with others myself in order to forge that sense of commiseration, in order to cultivate camaraderie among people who presently and have been plunged into these trenches of one's mental health. Is this going to prevent every eating disorder henceforth? My goodness, no, that'd be idealistic. What it will do, however, is attempt to generate some sort of communication, some sort of connection between these people who previously would have been plunged into this isolation. And in order to find a sort of atrium wherein people can converse and have discourse about issues which come to the fore amongst the adolescent demographic, among others, is something which is imperative within the present day as ever. There are no such especially statements. There is no especially now or now more than ever or anything of that ilk. What there is, however, is a perpetual filament of humankind. And I want to play on some of those common themes which have made themselves readily apparent. Among those common themes is that humans are readily social creatures. We like to interact. We like to have fun together. Now, this isn't all fun, no, but what it is, it's a forum for people to speak to each other, and it is a venue across which people can connect with each other. In effect, we have a few prongs of our approach, foremost among which being that we're going to permit, at least in the interim, in light of the ongoing Malthusian havoc, we're going to have some sort of online forum wherein people can hold seminars, dialectics, whatever that you'd like to call them, across which they can vociferate, they can amplify their hopes, their aspirations, their fears, whatever thoughts which come to the fore. Moreover, we're going to be speaking to perhaps preliminarily local clinics, as well as the Johns Hopkins Clinical Psychology Department in order to divert some of our funds towards them, in order to develop more invigorating, holistic, and comprehensive curricula for students, for adolescents who are grappling with these issues and how they might be able to more effectively approach them, whether that be in group therapy or more broadly, just one-on-one. -on -one. Speaking of curricula, we also hope to correspond with schools and establish chapters not only within where I'm from, Howard County, Maryland, but also nationally and, my goodness, internationally. And so we're going to be working in tandem with superintendents and other formative members of school boards in order to more firmly plant ourselves and not really ourselves in so much as prospects and propositions of these eating disorders within elementary and middle school health curricula because they have long been overlooked and I know that personally I did not reap a very plentiful understanding of eating disorders expressly from middle and elementary school age when one's really perhaps the most vulnerable and so while we won't be able to dispel the susceptibility to them we can make people more cognizant about what leads to them. Now in conjunction with that we're going to have this lovely YouTube channel alongside several other social media platforms across which we amplify the message at large and and perhaps start a few hashtags, interpolate a few trends of the ilk, um, and maybe we'll start a few fads, we'll see. Beyond that, we're simply going to then fixate within those chapters on having local fundraisers, because ultimately, even though this isn't very much indeed an international phenomenon, in order to tackle that more effectively, at least preliminarily, starting locally is absolutely imperative. And so that might manifest with 5Ks or evenings at restaurants or karaoke nights, my goodness. We'll defer that to the chapter leaders. But for now, we're fixating on our online forum. And so I really hope that you're going to be able to join us or at least support our endeavors and 
Be kind, be well, and be you. Thank you so much, and all the best to you.